Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a capsule series. Today we're going to end off this particular video collection that I've titled, Ooh, Who Is That? This is the video collection where I try to point out to you some very uh, enamored fragrances that come off so well when it comes to the compliment factor, how they pull off in masculine skin, and what it is they do to be attractive for you. This is the third installation to that particular list. I'm going to go with eight fragrances today instead of the six I've been going with to get this compendium outsorted for you guys to show you exactly what I've been wearing in 2024 and feel going forward in 2024 and beyond who will be great compliment magnet fragrances. If this sounds like the type of content you think that you'll enjoy, pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuance of scent cigars and wines. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. We're going to dive right into this three-part list, the last of the three-part list. This has been such a fun list for me to put together for you guys, and I hope you've received it as such. Um, as always, I want you guys to sample these fragrances before you turn out and buy a whole bottle of them. I love to give these recommendations because these fragrances have given me such compliment factor and that's one thing about enjoying this hobby. We can all have different fragrances that give us a different appeal, a different attraction and different compliment factor. Now these are the 18 that I've given to you in this video collection that have all given me compliments and I'm sure that going forward testing these and purchasing these you will get the same amount of compliments that I've gotten. The way we carry ourselves, the way we elevate ourselves, and the way we influence others with our mature classic gentlemen atmosphere and aura we're going to win in this game so first off i want to give you on this particular third list is a scent by the house of rosa parfums and that is isola blue isola blue is one that is a nose capturing fragrance it's a classical freshy it comes off with a great amount of lemon coconut lime bergamot pink pepper woody accords very refreshing very refined 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 fragrance that has a very beautiful classical fr citrus freshness to it. I would be remiss to tell you guys that this is not one of my favorite scents that come out in the last few years because what I've noticed with this particular scent is that even when I'm um, particularly trying to pull for a dumb reach and not trying to get compliments, this is one that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy wearing for my own sense of purpose and wearing experience. And saying that, I also would like to tell you guys that this has been one of my best compliment magnets for the summer of 2024. I went in wearing this fragrance thinking how well it smelled and how well it would come off, but I did not know the extent of how it pushed as a projection, how it pushed with its CIs, and how it comes off as a magnet for a compliment factor. This is a fragrance that I thoroughly enjoy wearing, like I stated, and it comes off, like I said, classical freshy, woody components, very fresh components, has a little bit of amber in it, a little bit of ambergris, but it, when it comes down to it, boils down to a nice, refreshing, woody citrus fragrance that just is so magnetizing for the opposite sex to hear or to smell on your skin. So first on this list, Isola Blue from the House of Rosa Parfums, a fantastic magnetic fragrance. So ladies and gentlemen, next up on this list, we're going to go with one of the most magnetic, polished, dressed fragrances that I have in my collection, and that is Mason Francis Kirk John's Grand Soir. This is a very beautiful Tonka Amber and Benzoin fragrance, a lot of sisters laughing them, so it has a little leathery appeal to it. It is a phenomenal wearing fragrance that has a lot of character and depth to it with a lot of evolution as well. It's one that would seem to be with so few notes, one that would be a one and done style of fragrance meaning it has no evolution but this one comes in as a nice warm balsamic fragrance then transitions on me to a woody to almost into a gourmand style of essence for me now for me this is mason francis kirk john best nighttime fragrance this is a fragrance that he put together for evening wear and it goes off grand in that occasion it is one that the opposite sex is really attracted to they really enjoy being around this cozy seductive fragrance and it's one that i think that you to have in your collection because Grand Soir is such a head-turning fragrance with a great compliment factor and in 2024 it did just that for me. So get your nose on Grand Soir by the House of Mason Francis Kirkjohn. Next up ladies and gentlemen this is a fragrance that really puts a smile on my face in particular for the style that it is. This is a 
Palo Santo Ebony Wood Fragrance by the House of Tom Ford. It is Ambe and Fume. This is a very sensual, incense rose-based fragrance with a lot of lacquered woods. If you are a masculine man that does have no time for any feminine-leaning fragrance, no unisex-leaning fragrance, this is the one for you. If you are a man that very much so carries himself in the classical gentleman statement style, this is the one for you, especially in the fall and winter. This is a head-turning fragrance that's very magnetizing and has a great amount of what I would call it from years past that style of machismo where you have that very much so unadulterated masculinity about you if that's the style that you want to portray in certain situations or if that's how you carry yourself ultimately always this is the perfect scent for you and it is a head turning beauty the rose comes out from this along with the palo santo and sandalwood it's a very fine refined fragrance with a little bit of yellow florals in the mid from osmanthus which gives it a carrying component of a luxurious feel at the end of the day this particular scent is one head turning beautiful compliment medic that I received a quite a few compliments on while going out to dinner this particular winter and loved hearing how it smelled. Um, it was one of the ones that I actually got a comment a woman told me it made her weak in the knees and that's one thing to, to you listen to these compliments and you understand what it does to the opposite sex and you'll understand why and what you wear and when and where to wear it. So at, at the end of the day this compliment magnet at Bane for me is one to get your nose on get a sample of it for your collection. Tom Ford at Bane for me. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, what I have on this list, this, hey, I've stated to you guys that it didn't blow me away, and it has not blown me away, but when it comes to this particular list, this is a list for compliment factors, so that's mean it doesn't have to blow me away, it has to do what it set out to do, and Blue Talisman, this is a fragrance that really, I mean, to me, <laughs> giving my opinion on this, this is a molecular fragrance that does the job of things that are in that realm where you talk about um, all of the molecule fragrances from molecule 01 style of fragrances, anything in that realm. Um, this particular fragrance does it better than it. And I mean in projection, in the way it's formulated, in the CI's projection category, the way that it's, the components come together, the way that they did a careful combination of fragrance molecules on this particular scent, I cannot deny what it does. Now, like I stated before, I'm not blown away by it. It's an ambery blue fragrance, a lot of amber and musk, amber green components you know and brocks in the musky but when it comes to the compliment factor if that's what you want if that's what you're looking for if you're not looking for personal pleasure all the time which i am not sometimes i want to be flirtatious and have a scent on me that actually calls to the opposite sex and this is the type of fragrance i'll pull for because i know that it's going to do the job the trick gets done and blue talisman is one that is very much so suited for that actual task it's done it for me it's doing it for me when i wear it and like I stated, I will reiterate, I am not blown away by this fragrance. It's a molecular fragrance that just comes off warm, musky, slightly blue, woody, and sweet. Now, for me, I've smelled a lot of rich fragrances, a lot of different styles of fragrances, and that's on me. When women smell this, women, it turns into, like I stated in my other video, it turns into catnip. Women love the way this particular aroma chemical smells. This is a molecular fragrance, and they love it. That's the most I can say about it, Blue Talisman. It's gotten to people's radars and it's going off beautifully with people and it's doing its job. So get your nose on it if you have not. If you want a fragrance to end out the summer heat in the, the dog days of summer and you haven't gotten your fragrance yet, check out Isola Blue. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it ain't my favorite, but this thing and every woman I've come around or even in parties, this set, they, <laughs> they like it. Flat out. Blue Talisman, Isola Blue. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, I got another one here from Kirk John, man. Kirk John has had a lot of representation in this particular three-part list. This is the third fragrance in the three-part list, and it's only right that I do so. I'm not going to get into this category and not tell you what gave me compliments or what stood out as overt compliments to me. And this particular winter and spring, I wore a lot of Oud Satin Mood, and it got me a lot of compliments. It got me compliments in office. It got me compliments out of office work and business settings. And it got me compliments while in restaurants and in um, in different festivities around congregations of people. And so wearing I, this particular oud satin mood, it is one of my favorite oud rose combination fragrance. Not my most um, favorite, but it is a favorite of mine because of the way that the warm sweetness has macerated in my bottle. It goes off very, very well, very compelling, very draw-in style of fragrance that creates a, a bubble around you. It is very sexual, it's very sensual. And if you wear this to a bar, a wine bar, a local pub, you know, somewhere where you're gonna have an upscale, affluent, um, not stuffy, but warm, cozy style of uh, e event space where you're going in, a little, little bit of a luxury space, 
not a dive bar. I mean, you will get the compliments, but you want to wear this in places where you want to fill up skill. And I have, and this has given me a great amount of compliments this year of 2024. Um, quite a few I recall that were, like I stated in another video, you can get some overt compliments when you carry yourself a certain way and have a certain fragrance on. And this is one Oud Satin Mood that got me those type of compliments. So get this on your radar for an Oud Rose combination fragrance that comes off sweet, warm, benzoin, and vanilla. And it does the trick. It really gets the job done when it comes to the compliment factor of a fragrance. Once again, Oud Satin Mood by the House of Mason Francis Kirkton. All right, gentlemen, as you can see, we're going heavy today. This is the eight fragrance list so i'm trying to go through it as fast as i possibly can with you guys to get some of this information to you but this one here this is elegance heart now i introduce you guys to elegance heart and elegance um oud noblesse on my channel and both of these fragrances are spectacular fragrances now oud noblesse is my favorite this one wears as my favorite compliment magnet of the two i love the way things like oud noblesse goes off but this is about a compliment factor fragrance and julian rasquinette who did both of these made this particular plum tobacco sweet fragrance with a lot of myrrh a little bit of a bergamot and ceylon cinnamon opening with a lot of plum in it as well so when you have a fragrance like that with that type of accords and that type of componentry it comes off very very well and the tobacco in this one is a combination i feel of great tobacco flower essence and tobacco sweetness so it's a to, it's a tobacco from the balkans and i had never seen or heard of a balkans tobacco so i'm assuming that that is the style that comes out of that region but this is a phenomenal head-turning fragrance that has a lot of elegance and luxurious appeal to you. So if you're one of the guys you're looking to elevate the status of your perfume collection to the Rosas, to the Bodicea of the Victorious, to um, the Henri Jacques out of California or London, this particular house, Elegance London, is one of those exclusive houses that produces some great fragrances, some really premium perfume oils and goes off well. And Hart got me a lot of compliments this year and I love the way that it wore. So get your nose on this if you can. This is sold in Harrods and on their particular website, elegance.co.uk. And they sell refill bottles as well. So if you want to come in and just to get the fragrance and not the particular bottle presentations, this is one to get your nose on. Very, very beautiful tobacco, plum, and effervescent style of tobacco to say that. This is one that got me heads turning. Elegance heart. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up on the list, man, y'all know how I it goes down. This is Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Pistachio, pistachio, pistachio. Compliments, compliments, compliments. This is yeah, beautiful fragrance, man. If you are looking for a fragrance that is warm, cozy, sensual, sexual, and compliment magnet, the terms that I love to use when putting together this list and thinking of what I want to bring, there was a prolific scent profile that you guys can get your nose on, even in Sephora, even in Ulta, Macy's. Get your nose on Tom Ford. Noir Extreme. I've not smelled the new Extreme Parfum and I am setting out to do so, but as it goes as a compliment magnet for me in 2024, Tom Ford Noir Extreme did the trick multiple times. This was a beautiful, beautiful scent to wear to um, theater settings and I love the way that this went off in theater settings. I went to a few theater settings this particular winter and spring and those are the type of things that you like to get yourself involved into because it's not only being around the people, the beautiful people that want to congregate in that situation, but it's a lot of contacts in there and networking ability in those type of situations. And you want to smell as pleasant as you possibly can, as alluring as you possibly can. And even by the night time you're going out, you want to smell sensual and sexual. This particular scent, this pistachio, I know it's Kofi stated, but to me, after smelling so many pistachio fragrances come to the market the last few years, I noticed that this was is a creamy, woody, sweet, seductive, ambery pistachio fragrance that comes off sensual and sexual to say the least. So get your nose on Tom Ford's Noir Extreme head turner for me in 2024 and I know beyond as well. Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Ladies and gentlemen, last up on this list, this is the fragrance I picked up this last fall going into winter. X-Ray Day Parfum by Day 3 Fragrances. This is Philosophia, one of the nicest tobacco fragrances to come out in the last few years. This is one in me particular. I wore this in instances where I would have worn Vanille Havan by Lesson Demi Dablis. I wanted to keep that bottle to a minimum of wear this year. And this did the trick just as well as that particular scent does. So in 2023, 2024 early, that Havan was the one that did all the tricks for me this year. Villa Sophia from the House of Day 3 Fragrances. Now, I'm not sure how the concentration has gone. I've heard different things. But if you find one in the black bottle online anywhere, um, 
This is a fantastic smelling tobacco, cinnamon, black pepper, and hazelnut fragrance that really does the trick when it's talking about compliment factor. It gave me a lot, and I do mean a lot. That's why this is the last one on a three-part list to tell you about, because like I stated, I'm a tobacco fan. I, I mean, that's one of my essences, tobacco, spices, and even some fougeres. So those are my categories of favorite fragrances. And for me, this one, while some people say that it does not give protection or sillage, I cannot say that that's the truth for my particular bottle. That's why I say watch for batch variation. But when it comes to the scent, Philosophia from the House of Day 3 Fragrances gave me some compliments, and it gave me a lot of confidence in one particular arena where I went in, I didn't have my mindset right, I didn't have my, my preparation proper done, properly done, and I set forth to go into a situation unprepared, so to speak. I sprayed on this fragrance and the reception that the smell gave, the reception that the people gave while coming close to me, and that's a component that you can't see, but you feel it. You know when people want to be around you. You know when you are luring and attracting and the conversation goes longer because of your particular fragrance or the way you present yourself. And so for me, Philosophia gave me a few compliments this particular winter that I was very impressed with the way they stated it, very impressed with the way it came across, and very impressed with the way the sillage and the exposure to the fragrance of, you know, of the room around me took it in and loved the way it smelled. So Philosophia from the House of Day 3 Fragrances, if you have not gotten your nose on it, try to get a sample of this, of course, as always, and see what it does for you. Because for me, it was one of my favorite and best compliment fragrances of the year 2024, winter, spring, and I know going forward in the late 2024, it's going to be a fantastic scent. And I will say this, I have worn this in the summer evening, and it did go off quite well. So, for the Sophia from the House of Day 3 Fragrances. Ladies, gentlemen, that is my video for you guys today. I hope, as always, you guys got something entertaining and educational from this particular video. And if you did, all that I ever ask that you do, hit the like button, subscribe, send this video off to a friend. Also, comment. You guys, keep it up, man. I'm loving the commentary. I'm loving the friendships being made in the comment section. This is a great chance to even lift that even higher with these particular videos because these videos, these particular ones are getting a lot of headway, a lot of response, a lot of comments on it. I enjoy that. Enjoy getting back with you guys. Um, like I stated, anytime you have a question, just drop it below. Drop it on my Instagram if you have something deeper. Want to go in the DMs and talk about some things and more in-depth about the fragrances. I'm always here for you guys. Um, until next time, until next video, peace.